um, we'll get started now, if that's all right. Um, hello, and welcome to the Moramo PDF Coffee Break webinar. Um, today's webinar is called Fancy Tables. Um, this is the second in the series. Uh, we did a webinar at the beginning of October, and that um, was about formatting your entire document or reformatting your entire document to rebrand it in new colors and to format the cover page. So if you want to check out that, um, that video, it's on our YouTube channel. So if you have any questions, you can pop them in the chat window. I may not get a chance to check them out during the webinar, but I can email you with um, with the answers uh, following on. So the purpose of these webinars is to demonstrate um, how Moramo PDF can save you time and money. So if you have a little window into how we do certain aspects of formatting, you can uh, compare it to how you currently would do that formatting in whatever uh, methodology you use, you use at the moment, say XSLFO, or CSS or um, InDesign. So that is the purpose of uh, this webinar. So we only have a very short time, so I'm going to um, get straight into it. So for the purposes of this webinar, I'm going to use Oxygen. And this is some sample table data. And I'm going to run through the Moramo PDF transformation scenario. It's the development scenario and it uses the default template that comes with our plugin. So what's happening at the moment is our plugin is taking the data, it's doing a performing a topic merge and then transforming it to Moramo XML. The Moramo XML is the template, the default template is then applied to the Moramo XML and our composition engine renders the PDF. So this is the uh, development PDF. And it is a development PDF because it has these little tooltips. And each tooltip shows you the formatting that has been applied by the template. And in this case, as I said, it's the default template that comes with our plugin. So this is the body formatting information. This is the table title formatting information table header, et cetera, table body. So for the purposes of this webinar, the most important piece of information here is this little purple square. And this shows you that the table format that has been used here is the um, table. So we need to go into the default template, find the table format and make the changes that we require. And I'll show you what our target is for this session. Our target fancy table is this table here. So it's a good bit better than the table you just saw. Um, the formatting that needs to be applied, there needs to be color fill applied to the header rows. Um, on this column here, there's a white fill to the header and the body. The tabs are going to be um, treated a little separately and I'll show you how to do that. There is an SVG um, in the background and there's alternate um, shading in the rows. The other thing difference is there's white rulings in the table as well. So it's a significantly uh, different table. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to transform your regular, a little bit boring table to something quite fancy. Right, so we're going to head into Moramo PDF. So this is the GUI template designer. I'm going to hold the target PDF here on the left. So we know what we're aiming for. Right. So on the right hand side here in this right hand column are the format definitions. These are the categories of formatting that are controlled within the GUI template designer. If you click on more here, there's even more categories here, MathML, shadow definitions, SVG definitions, et cetera, all controlled within the GUI template designer. Um, here we have color definitions, all the individual colors are defined, tables of content formatting, the different page definitions here, et cetera. So we're interested for this webinar in the table definitions. And here is the table that we were looking at. 
So I'm going to double click on this table and all the properties of that table are listed here. Same as when we rolled over on the tooltips, the list of properties that dropped down were these properties here. So we'll start at the top of the list here and it says column count is five. Now we'll have a look at the target uh, PDF and here we can count the um, columns. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to apply formatting to all six columns. The default uh, column count with the default template is five, but the ditto will automatically override that. But as I said, we need to format all the columns, so we need to add an extra one. Okay, so I'm gonna add an extra column here and it should be listed underneath column five there. And then we can start formatting the column. So there's the sixth column there. So I'm going to apply a white uh, fill color to the header of column one and a white fill color to the bottom body of column one. So I'm going to, here's column one, move across and here's the fill color. The top one here is the header. So I'm going to apply white fill here and in the body here, I'm going to apply white again. In we can move to column two, there is a gray fill in the header. I've already set up a few colors here. So table color one is the gray that we need for the header there. And column three also has the same gray. And we'll apply that too. The next column is a, a kind of a cyan. And here it is, table color two. The next column is that mustard. And the final one is a blue table color four. Okay, so that's all the fills um, for the table. And I'm gonna click okay. Right, so we move along to the SVG. There is none currently applied as a default. So we're going to apply an SVG here. So click on this arrow and I'm gonna select the second linear gradient two. And I'll just show you the properties of linear gradient two. So here we have a representation of what it looks like and here is the code that produces that. If you wanted to um, create your own SVG, you click on the add button here, um, assign it a new name and paste the code and you'll see a representation of your new SVG here but we'll stick to this one for now. Okay. We could have shadow def, but I have to say a shadow def with an SVG in the background could be overkill, but I'll click in and show you what a shadow def looks like. Um, you can change the shadow length, the angle, the color, and the tint, etc. cetera. So um, all these aspects can be modified if you do want a shadow on your table. Now, I'll just check if there's any uh, comments there and everything seems fine. Okay. So the next step is the row shading. I'm gonna click on row shading down here and then edit the information. So the shading count is one and the shady interval is one. So every second row is going to be um, shaded. I'm going to select a color that's going to complement the table, uh, which is table color two. And I'm going to just reduce down the percentage tinted tint for that. And that is okay. The final thing for use in the GUI template is the rulings. So the default is a black ruling and here we have a white ruling. So I'm going to click here. It brings us into the properties of the thin rule def, and we want that to be a white ruling. There we go, and close. So that's everything um, that we can change within the GUI template designer, but I just have one more thing to show you. These tabs, we're going to approach these a little differently. I've already set up um, three paragraphs here, paragraph formats. Uh, table tab one, table tab two, and table tab three. So I'm going to go into table tab one. This is the paragraph formatting that's going to override the default formatting um, for that column or for that paragraph here, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So we've got a different 
paragraph format that's going to override the current formatting and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. So what we've created is a para frame around that paragraph. I'm going to edit. And there's a margin of 10 points around the paragraph, as you can see here on the left. The fill color is table color two. Um, I haven't done any rulings, but I have assigned rounded corners. And down here, you can um, define the radius of those rounded corners and change them as you require. Okay, so the same is done for tab one, tab two, tab three, except it's got the three different colors. Okay, so now I am going to, let's see, there's a, don't forget text color of heading to white. Yes, I need to assign the text color of heading to white as well. That is correct. And I will assign that later. Okay, so I'm gonna save this um, template and I'm going to move back into Oxygen. Here we go. All right, we're back in Oxygen. Now we have to, um, now we have to put in a, um, we're going to add an output class attribute and to override the formatting of this paragraph. So I'm going to select output class here. These are the, um, the attributes available by, from, by Marama PDF. Um, here is MMPDF Paradef name. And this is where I input table underscore tab one. So that means that the formatting paragraph that I just showed you, the three formatting paragraphs that I just showed you in the template will override the default formatting that usually happens. So click OK on Tuesday, uh, edit the attribute again, select output class, um, MMPDF, PowerDef, and define the paragraph that is over, going to override it, tab two, and the same for Wednesday, edit attribute, output class, PowerDef name, three. Okay, and I shall save the data there. Okay. All right, that should cover everything. Well, we'll see if it has. I'm going to run the um, production transformation against the amended data, and it's going to use the amended um, template that we just we just changed. So, double click on that, and. So again, what's happening here is the topic merge, then the transformation to Murano XML, and then the new template is applied and the composition engine renders the new PDF. Okay, so this is the new PDF. Um, although I told you I wasn't going to do a drop shadow, I forgot to take it away so you can see it's been applied and I think I'm right, it is a bit of overkill. Um, I'm going to do a a comparison with the other PDF, our target PDF. Let me just do that. Okay, so this was our target PDF and this is our new PDF. And like I said, the only difference is I forgot to take the drop shadow off. So that was quite a, a fast transformation from a very basic table to quite a fancy table. And this isn't the only area where formatting is a lot quicker and easier than perhaps other methodologies. So maybe you can apply that to your current methodology and see how much time and money you might save um, in this aspect. So if you have any questions at all, you can uh, contact us at um, support at datazone.com. We've got a number of uh, instructional videos on our YouTube channel. And also on moramo.com, we have a trial download of Moramo PDF, which you can download and play with. And also we will support you with any questions that you have in the short term. So thank you for your time. Our next webinar is at the beginning of next month and it's called Lovely Lists. So we'll go through how you can format your lists very easily um, with Moramo PDF. 
So I appreciate your time and hopefully we'll see you again soon. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.